Hi, this is Lieutenant Ward of the GamingUnderground.net again. And uh, as you can see, here's our homepage. And here's a sneak preview of our new style coming out. And I know, it kind of sounds like I'm a little bit tired, and that's because I am. I've been driving all day. So it's going to be a little bit slower, but I'm going to show you a really easy tutorial how to do an effect like this with the exact same render, have a smoke effect coming out behind your render. So you're going to open up Photoshop, which I already have opened. And right now, I'm not going to have it on any kind of background or anything. I just have a gray background just to demonstrate the purpose of it. Now what you want to do is you're going to want to have your render. You're going to duplicate the limp render. So uh, let's go ahead and delete this real quick. Now right-click, duplicate layer. Hit OK. Now you're going to hide this layer. Now come over here and choose the smudge tool. Right here it looks like a finger pointing down. And you're going to want to choose about a chalk brush, maybe about 29. Now come over here and go to your brushes. And you have changed some options for the brush. Shape dynamics, you're going to want to keep on. Scattering, you're going to keep on. You want to scatter a little bit more. Make it a little bit more. Come over here. Give it a little bit more angles, a little bit more roundness all the way, and a little bit more minimum roundness, just kind of filling everything right about there. Make sure you have smoothing enabled. And now you have your ability to start to um, add the smoke effect. What you're going to do is you want to rasterize the bottom layer of the render, and you're going to do outward strokes like this. Smooth outward strokes. and make sure you get everywhere you want smoke coming from I'm doing it kind of sloppy right now just for the effects of the tutorial but just basically go around get every little area alright that should be good enough now as you unhide your layer it looks just like your layer but just looks smudged crap coming out see you missed a spot over here now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go. He you're gonna choose this uh, effect. You're gonna choose outer glow. As you can see, it's more of a smoky effect. Set it to screen and the opacity. If you're brighter, you want to go ahead and set it to 100. For a little bit darker, you want to go ahead and set it to about four between 35 and 50 range. But for me, since it's a darker render, I want a really, really bright smoke coming out behind it for the contrast. Hit OK. Click the front bottom layer and the top layer. Right click. Convert to Smart Object. And now you have your render with smoke. Smart Object. It's one layer. It's really easy. Just drag and drop it in whatever SIG you want to use. And I hope this helps with your SIG making. Don't forget to register at thegamingunderground.net. I hope you have fun on the underground. Have a good day. <laughs> Tired.